I got food from Dairy Queen. I don't think I've ever gotten actual food from Dairy Queen aside from like blizzards and whatnot. So this should be interesting. First up, I got their like chicken basket. It comes with I think four chicken tenders, fries, and toast. And I got their spicy chicken sandwich. These smell so good. They're pretzels with their like cheese queso sort of. Of course, a medium Dr. Pepper. So I want to go in for the pretzels first. They look really good. That's what the cheese sauce is looking like. Okay. They're really soft. I just, I'm sorry, dude. What is up with this face, dude? It's, it can't be that good to have this devious face on you, man. They're just pretzels, dude. And they make them probably like, I don't know, in big giant vats. There's no care. There's no effort. There's no love that goes into these. These are just cooked quickly and efficiently. And you're just loving the taste of them. It's fine, by the way. You can eat, you know, love eating processed stuff. It's going to be, going to be fine, by matter of fact. But uh, I just wanted to point it out that this video was like a year ago. Almost to the day of this making of this video. So, uh, I just wanted to point out the amount of weight gain that she has emanated off herself. Maybe you've seen some before and afters on your screen right now, but she has gained a lot of weight. I don't know exactly how much she's weighed here, but given the fact that she was very, very aerobic at one point in time, like the earlier TikTok content that she had put out, she was dancing, she was living life, she was running, she was doing a lot of aerobic activity, and it seems like... That has ceased entirely. I mean, it's great that now she can walk. I mean, it's great, you know, honestly, obviously, to be able to walk is a great achievement. But um, it seems like she has foregone all of her older activities for the lucrativeness of consuming thousands of calories a day for the appeasement of men beating off online, which is not exactly the worst career, I suppose. I mean, I guess there are other things that you could do, like mine for like uranium or something like that, and then die at 42. I guess there are worse jobs, but uh, she <laughs> she's making a lot of money doing this. I have no issue with her making a lot of money. Go get the bag, sis. Is it worth the amount of trauma? Is it worth the amount of destruction to your body? Hmm? Hmm? Is it the next avocado? Hmm? The next uh, jelly beans avocado, maybe, perhaps? I don't know, dude. I just think it's interesting to see the before and after. And one thing, actually, I've noticed um, that's very consistent with, with jelly bean sweets over the past few years is uh, her hair has just maintained to be significantly dry at every chance I have ever seen her do anything. Her hair has always been very, very flaky, very, very dry. I don't know what she's doing to it. A lot of people have said that she has very poor hygiene, which I do not doubt. Uh, it seems like she doesn't really care about her hair at all, which, I mean, makes sense. Yeah, it seems like that. Um, and it also seems like she's not brushing her teeth, or at least I don't know if she is, because a lot of people have pointed out to me that she has yellow teeth, and, you know, maybe she's just brushing them enough to get by, I guess. I don't know, dude. Maybe that is what's happening as well. But it's definitely a good correlating factor, given the fact that she also doesn't care about her other physical appearances, like her weight. So... But definitely the hair, the hair has been noticeably dry, noticeably thin. And it doesn't have to be that way, dude. Deep, deep overnight conditioners, dude. Uh, bonnets, they're not just made for black people. You can wear them too as a white person. It's fine. Nobody's going to call you out on that shit. Well, there might be some dumb people that call you out for wearing a bonnet. But it's all right, dude. A lot of people just think it's a cool hat or it's like a shower cap or like a purple or whatever color you get shower cap. Um, it's always hilarious when I hear somebody go, oh, wow, that's a nice hat. It's not a hat. It's a bonnet. But, you know, it's okay. I make that joke too sometimes. When I see black people with bonnets, I'm like, hey, that's a nice hat. And they're like, it's not a hat, dog. I know it's not a hat, bro. I know it's not a hat, bro. You think I knew? You Maybe they do, actually, since I'm white. But, you know, someone cooked here. Anyway. Mm. It can't be that good, right? The, the way that she double, she double munches it, I guess it's just been a thing for her for a very long time. Man, really look at the difference in her face, man. Look at the difference in her face compared to where she is now. It's actually insane. That's good. Now I'm going to go in for their chicken sandwich. So let me open this up here. Dry as hell. This looking like. I think I got the spicy one. I Looks think so. dry as fuck, dude. All right, let's go in for a bite. Damn! Why you open your mouth that mm. hot, fucking wide, bro? Like chicken tenders. Oh, I, somehow I thought it was gonna be like a patty. You just got a whole month <laughs> mouthful of bread the there. Basket here, so this is what it's looking like. It's hard to show. Okay, Damn. so and you got a chicken sandwich. You got the pretzels, and you got a box. God damn, Jelly Bean. That's a lot, dude. From DQ? We don't even have DQ where I'm from. I think this is their... Ooh. She got some residue on her finger there, too. Do you guys see it? Like it's hard to show. Look at the okay, residue right so here. I think this 
see the residue. I'm guessing this is from, I don't think I've seen her eat anything yellow here. So I'm guessing this is probably from something else that she consumed, some kind of cheese dip or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if she was doing mukbangs back to back to back to back. Why wouldn't you, dude? It's only profitable. Um, if you're getting one Uber Eats, you might as well get 15 more. Why not? This is their it's not like you care about, it's not like, let's be honest here for a second, okay? It's not like Jelly Beans really cares about the quality of the food here, dude. It's not really about that at all for her. And it's never ha it never has been about it. And I know a lot of people will sit there and go, oh, fast food is better than regular food. It can be. Uh, but most of the time, if your food is better, sorry, if fast food is better than your regular food, just put more effort into it. It's not that, it doesn't take that much effort to learn a recipe. I mean, how people literally learn recipes off like YouTube shorts or like one minute TikToks. And you're sitting here complaining that you can't cook food. Dude, suck me off, okay? Go go on YouTube and just type in whatever you're trying to make tonight and just look up recipe following that. Watch like the first one or two videos and then just make it like that. Well, you don't have onions, well, you don't have salt, you don't have pepper, you don't have whatever meat that you're making, dude. Stop it, okay? You can make the food taste good. I know a lot of people don't think that they can, but you can't. All it takes is a little bit of effort. And also, I know a lot of people say, I don't have time to cook. You do have time to cook. Don't lie to me, dude. I know you got time to cook. What do you mean you don't have time? What are you doing throughout the entire day? You're working eight hours? Okay, I get it. Working eight hours sucks a lot of dick. But that transitional period of you getting home, is there nothing that you can do there? A lot of people literally when they get home, what are they doing? They're scrolling through TikTok for 45 minutes. They're watching Netflix, whatever. Do whatever you want to relax. I have no quarrel with people um, trying to oblige their satisfaction of entertainment. That's fine. But I think that you should probably take some time to cook something because it's, your body is going to benefit from that, from, from that tremendously. Uh, especially knowing that you're just eating slop to begin with. You know how many guys I know that don't even pack lunches when they go to work, which is crazy? Uh, they're just literally, when they're, whenever they're on break, they just roll up to the local McDonald's or whatever's in that plaza, and they'll just eat whatever slop is there, and they just consistently gain weight because they're just eating slop, and it's bad for your body too. But, hey, you know what? I guess Ozempic exists. The house but then again, Ozempic does exist, but who has $1,000 a month to be putting that down? At least wait for the price to go down, right? Big Ranch. Okay, and then I got I got another cheese thing. Um, so I was going for a. I was going for. A I love the way she pulled it out. I'm gonna dip it into the ranch here. Uh hot. Mm. Seems like she had a lot more reaction back in the day, man. Seems like she was a lot more lively. Uh, I think what happened was because she started rolling out the content so aggressively that it, it just kind of came, it, came, it, it kind of became like an assembly line for her where it doesn't really matter what she's putting out because ultimately it's all the same content anyway, which is just her eating 40, 50, 60,000 calories a week. So it doesn't really matter. And you know what? A lot of people might be saying, David, is she really eating that many calories a week? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, 2,000 calories a day for most people. She's probably literally eating double or triple that every single day. I wouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah, she's probably eating that like all the time. So this is just like conveyor belt content for her at this point. Definitely fresh. It is so hot. <laughs> it just depends on what you mean by fresh, right? Fresh off that Puerto Rican guy that made its hands. It's good though. I'm gonna go in for the. It's fresh. It's good though. I hope so, dude. Isn't what? Isn't one of the good, good quality control things uh, of food being fresh? Whatever. A toast in the fries. It's just toast. Uh, I don't know why people are surprised that it's like it's just bread, and maybe it has like some extra flavor on it, or the crunch is a little bit more significant. But most of the time, it's just gonna be bread. It looked kind of hard too. It's a toast. Just toast. How much did you spend on that toast, by the way? How much would I bet you spent like three dollars on that toast, bro? That's just ridiculous, man. That's good. You can literally get a loaf of bread at the at the at the local stop and shop for like a dollar fifty. Used to be a dollar, but now it's a dollar fifty. Sad face. I'm gonna dip these into the branch. Damn the two for dude. Damn. She gotta do something about her hair, dude. She really got that Gene Wilder hair, man. You know what I'm talking about? Way back in the day, Gene Wilder, when he played in, like, Young Frankenstein or whatever, his hair was, like, freaky and zany. But then again, he was alive in the 70s and the 80s. Like, nobody really cared about that. A lot of times a lot of times back then, people didn't even know what hair care was. It was cool to have really dry, flaky, crusty up hair. Uh, dead ends everywhere, bro. But nowadays, we know more, and we understand that hair could be neutralized. Sorry, it can have more nutrition in it. It could be hydrated. Um, there are proper procedures when it comes to hair care. But I guess she doesn't care. Would you like that ranch? Which makes sense. I mean, why would you care about your hair if you don't even care about your body? What the hell is, you know what I'm talking about, dude? There should be, there should be like a one, two, three, four, but like going to your hair would be like going to four. And now, a Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah. Okay.
Yeah, as you can tell. Really look at that before and after here, dude, okay? Wow. It's just crazy, man. Like, to see how much weight gain she's gotten on her face in this short period of time is 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 really crazy. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, David, a year is uh, not a short period of time. Yes, it fucking is, okay? A year of your life? Okay, a year is a long time if you're, like, not born yet. Fine. That's, like, 100% of your life. But a year for me and most people is, like, whatever. Like, we've already had multiple of those years, and they just kind of all stack together sometimes depending on how old you are, right? Because uh, that's just how time works for most people, right? The more years you're alive, the less valuable that year is. But in terms of one year apart from that transformation is crazy, bro. She's gaining so much weight. Her skin has gotten worse, it looks like. Sub sub substantially worse. Um, her hair somehow has managed to get even worse. I don't know how, but it's gotten worse. Uh, she doesn't take care of it. Her teeth have gotten yellower, yellower. But you know what, dude? If this is what she wants to do, if this is, how, this is how she wants to make her money, if she wants to be like the second coming of Nikado Avocado, I mean, look, go ahead and do it. But it's probably going to be really, really bad for your health. I bet Nikado Avocado has a lot of health problems right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn. Jeez, bro, right, biting, damn, damn, bro, that's a tough, that's a tough shot right there, bro, you just don't give a fuck about yourself at all, like, there's no care in the world about what you're doing to yourself, she kind of looks really, really inflated here, like, she's kind of got an allergic reaction or something like that, doesn't it, it seems like she's been babysitting a beehive or something, man, I don't know, she seems really irritated, right, her fingers have gotten fatter, Oh, it's just tough, man. It's just tough because I know that she's not the person that likes to eat. I know. I know she's not, bro. She never seemed like the type of person beforehand. She seemed like she just ate when she needed to eat, and then that was that. But now she has to do this because a lot of people were obsessing over it, or they were beating themselves off watching this woman eat food. And it's been confirmed already that, yes, indeed, she has catered to feed her content in the past and she was trying to solicit money from people so that way they can beat off to her while eating food and you know what dude this i mean necessarily there are bad the worst things in life um but that's diabolical bro god damn couldn't even do the foot content first gotta go right to the eating of sandwiches jeez man coming at it from the top too like that it's kind of poor etiquette when it comes to eating food man Damn, that swallow. Damn, bro, there's really not much chewing involved here, dude. Most of this is just swallowing. And you know what I've, I've come to realize? I think that most of the skincare, most of all this other stuff, is just a reflection of how bad her diet is. Um, not necessarily that the food that she's eating is bad, but because she's eating so much quantity and, and, and she's doing it so often. And then also the fact that it doesn't matter for her. Like, why would you care about anything else when you're literally just, like, imploding? Damn. Calm down, dude. What happened? Did you bite your fingers there, dude? Calm down, Jelly Bean. It's not going anywhere. I know you got to finish this, this video in like under three minutes or whatever, but you can take a minute. You can take an extra minute. You don't need to just speed run swallow everything. You might choke. Dang. Sometimes people don't look this. Sometimes people look completely different when they gain weight in the face, man. I know that I start, when I started gaining weight, I didn't really see it in my face very often. Um, but I saw it in my love handles, right? And I, I, I got very insecure. I remember one day I was, like, taking a shower. And I took off my shirt. And I was, like, flexing in the mirror because I was, like, working out, you know? And I saw that I had love handles. And I was like, what is this? What is this, like, sluppy, slimy, disgusting slop on the side of my body right here? And there's love handles. And it's not necessarily bad to have love handles. I know a lot of girls specifically told me that, like, ooh, you want to grab up on my love handles? You love my hip dips? Um, sure. Uh, th those are very delightful and delectable in many, many ways. Please, let me put my mouth upon those things. But for dudes, it's not very good to be skinny fat. It's probably worse than being regular fat, because at least if you're regular fat, that's like a stereotype. Skinny fat is just bad. It's always going to be bad. So I knew that I had to up the cardio. I had to literally change the diet, dude. I don't know what I was doing, um, but I was eating too much. And it happens like that sometimes, right? Um, but for jelly beans, it seems like she's gaining weight everywhere. I mean, look at the, 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 the face, man. It's just like completely different compared to what she used to look like. What is that? Why is it so clumpy? That looks like expired mayonnaise or something. Ooh. Doubling it up. Can we finish the first bite first? 
Okay, can we get a double dip? Let's get a double dip. We don't need... Bro, you're about to finish this entire tub of whatever this is. This this decomposing mayonnaise. It's crunchy, though. It's crunchy. I don't know where her, her microphone is for to pick up this amount of mouth noises, dude. It's got to be, like, in the back of her mouth at this point. Because I'm literally hearing everything. I hate it, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. I know a lot of people... In the comment section, we'll say they don't like the mouth noises. I'm with you on that, dude. I know. I don't like them either, dude. I don't even re ne really necessarily like watching Jelly Bean Sweets videos. But a lot of people love them. A lot of people like watching these videos. So I am here to oblige. I am. I. I, I what am I? What? I'll, I'll, I'll do it if any. If somebody wants me to do something, I mean, I'll do a lot of things for a lot of people, right? I'm a giver for after all. So if you like watching Jelly Bean Sweets, I'll watch it with you. Hopefully, we can make it more tolerable. But... I don't like the mouth noises organically. Whenever I'm out to eat with people, I always tell them to close their mouth or I'll leave the table because I don't like the mouth noises. I hate the... I don't like it. Don't like it. Do not like it at all. I think... Uh, I remember I'm, I'm friends with a guy that eats like a camel without teeth. And I'm not even joking, bro. Like whenever he chews, you can see the food literally moving in between his mouth. But he's a beautiful man regardless and I love him. And he's an awesome guy and he smells really great. He has great skin care. He has great eyebrows um he's a he's a very conscientious man always gets his work done on time um and he smells really really good he's also middle eastern so anyway we live in a great we live in a great time to be alive i think like the fact that somebody can be here on tiktok just posting these videos and making millions of dollars a year is it's it's beautiful in a way like, there's no prerequisites to this. It's literally just eat food, and then hopefully people like it, and they did, and then you just got famous off of it. Isn't that beautiful? Like, remember back in the day when somebody had to get famous from, like, doing some crazy techniques or, like, being a, a, a really, really good movie star or, I don't know, being, like, a, a person that did stunts or whatever? But nowadays, you can get famous from just eating thousands of calories and looking off to the screen having really dry hair. Beautiful, man. Always gonna finish it off. And she hates it, by the way. She hates doing this, but she knows she has to because people basically uh, call her out on it now. They're like, wait, why didn't you drink it at the end of the video? How come you didn't do your signature slurp? By the way, signature slurp sounds like a finisher move on Porn Star. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. Damn, your hair is fried. What the hell happened, dude? I can see right through that shit. Oh my god. This looks like the hairballs that my cat would leave around. You know what I'm talking about, dude? When, when your cat would like start to shed a little bit and you would brush it out and then you would just have that clump of hair. It looks like that. It's so many dead ends. Dude, okay. Here's what I want you to do. I think your hair is GG at this point. Go to your salon or what you could actually do if you really wanted to. You can go on Amazon and just buy like clippers and just shave it off. Just zzz doesn't matter at this point you it's gg your hair is fried it's beyond fried at this point i don't even know how that's even still on your head um it sucks but it is what it is uh shave it all off be better be better dude start off raw uh i know it takes a little bit of time to get back to where you're gonna be here but uh, where you are right now is literally done fermented i don't even know how this even happened you're gonna have to literally restart this Invest in some hair care products, some overnight conditioners, um, some overnight moisturizers, hair masks, whatever, dude. I know some people that have put mayonnaise in their hair and eggs and protein masks and things like that. I know that it smells bad, but the end result is, oh my god, your hair is so delicious. I mean, not eatable, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, it looks great. But, uh, but her hair, woo, bad. Double biting that shit is crazy. It's also the light that's making it worse, probably, yeah. Why do we have to apply sauce every time we take a bite? Jesus Christ, man. This is the zombie eating your foot when you look down after waking up from being unconscious right here. This is what the, this is what the zombie is doing. It's just bringing up Chipotle sauce on your foot. Like, oh, hey, bro, what's going on? Just taking huge chunks of your foot. Coral. Coral, help me, Coral. Jelly bean sweet has my foot. Damn, got the guac on my foot, dude. She is eating this, like, fully. Like, there is no cuts here. She's actually munching that shit, no problem. God damn, bro. 
Oh, I was about to say no sauce on this one. Gotta go for the sauces, bro. I would be so intimidated if this girl walked into my restaurant. And you know how they get upset when you ask for more sauces and they're like, dude, no, we, we're good. We're not giving you any more sauces, right? Because like, sometimes people will be grabbing up a lot of sauces or whatever. Back in the day, they didn't have a problem when they had their own, like, you know what I'm talking about? The dispensers. But nowadays, you don't have those dispensers anymore. This woman right here be cleaning through the sauces, bro. She a sauce girl. I'll give her that. Oh, oh, damn, bro. Ranch and cheese? Woo! Damn, double. Damn. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my God. She's fully eating this without a single cut. Damn. Two minutes you bodied this shit? Take a break. Wow, the, bro, the swallowing is actually insane. She's actually gonna finish this in two minutes. With the sauces too at that, it's not even like, this is, it's not even efficient. Like there's no competitive eatingness to this at all. She's literally stopping to pour cheese on it to take bites out of it. There's nothing here that would imply that she's doing this competitively. This is just how she eats regularly. Whoa, damn. Cheese all over your fingers and shit, dude. Oh. Oh, 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 it's so, damn, the mouth noises are so wet. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, getting that sauce all over the table, bro. I hope this is your house. <laughs> oh, man, dude, that's, okay. not even your table, bro. Oh my god. Jeez. Bro, you gotta calm down with this. There's too much overconsumption here. I... Her mouth is surprisingly massive. Uh, sometimes I don't peep how big her mouth is until she opens it completely, and then I realize it's massive. It's ginormous, dude. Like, it's, it's like the size of a giant tunnel. And it makes sense, bro, right? Makes sense. Who's that one guy? You remember that guy from way back in the day that would literally have an unquenchable hunger and that when they when he eventually died, they looked down his mouth one day and they just literally saw his esophagus. It was just like fall, food was just falling from his mouth directly into his like lower intestine or something like that. I feel like Jelly Bean Sweets probably has him beat, that guy. I, I don't know what his name was, but I remember watching a documentary on that guy, which is really crazy, by the way, that he didn't even have a stomach or something like that. I have no idea what the story was of that guy, but... I feel like Jelly Beans is on that. She's only contributing it to it, by the way. Everybody here that's watching this video on her TikTok, and there are plenty of people in the TikTok telling her that she's doing well. I even had, if you go through her TikTok, you're, you're gonna find people saying like, "Can you can you upload one more? I'm almost finished." Or, <laughs> it, <laughs> well, no shame, by the way. Jesus Christ, man, what the hell is wrong with you? Why can't you be like a normal person? B open up the hub, okay? Open up the hub and, and just beat off real quick just find a video real quick dude why you gotta be going on tiktok to beat off man there's not really anything on there for you it's just weird stuff i mean don't get me wrong there are some times where you're scrolling through the I, there have been some times where i scrolled through the lives on tiktok because i was under one point i was watching a ton of lives of really really bad fuck boys that were just trying to seduce women over the youtube lives which is always really cringy by the way but anyway they would try to seduce these women over the TikTok lives. And then I remember one day I was scrolling through, looking through all these guys. And then there was a woman uh, that I was watching one time, right? I was just scrolling through and I saw this woman and she was like really close to the camera. And I was like, why are so many people here watching this, right? And then she backed up. And then I saw that she was breastfeeding her child um, on TikTok live. And then I was like, what the fuck? Is, what is this? Her newborn baby. And then people in the comment section were like, yo, show us more of the teat. Show us more of the nipple. Oh, I like this. Hold on. My mom put the parental block on my shit, but he, she don't know about this. And it's just like, Jesus, man. There are some people that are really, really down bad, man. And they're they're willing to do anything and anything to beat off. And I really wonder if they don't have that post-nut clarity, dude. Because for me, 
um after i bust i'm thinking about lasagna i'm thinking about what kind of iced tea i'm about to be drinking i'm thinking about your career path in life and how we we can possibly make it better i'm not thinking about busting again usually i mean if you give me like another 30 minutes i might be able to you know we might be able to top it off again or whatever uh, i could probably go afterwards but um it's not gonna be my a game if that makes any sense but there are genuinely people out here that are fully uh, exactly beating off to this this woman's videos and don't get me wrong I'm sure that there have been some people that have beaten off to this video by the way um, thank you I appreciate that thank you for beating off to me I don't know exactly what you're beating off to maybe it's Felix you're beating off to Felix or maybe even you're beating off to Davina because Davina is beautiful and of course she is an appropriate woman to beat off to that makes total sense but for me I don't understand it maybe you like the star patch uh, maybe that's what it is but it's fine I have no quarrel with you beating off to me the thing is if you're beating off to me you're not beating off to me because I'm eating extraordinarily large amounts of food. I'm not even really doing anything abnormal in general. So if you're just beating off to me, I guess you just really like my face. Thank you, by the way. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for marinating my soul with your um, your nut butter. Appreciate that. But uh, if you're beating off to jelly beans, that's the entire intention. Like, she wants people to beat off to her. Her hands look so small, by the way, too. And I have peeped that as her hands have gotten a lot uh, fatter, they look a lot smaller. Which doesn't make any sense, but I think it, I think it's because they blow out the proportions on on the fingers. Um, she doesn't even have knuckles anymore, as you can see. I don't even see knuckles anymore. Um, you can see mine, by the way. It can't be that good, dude. You you eat so often. I'm always gonna call cap on somebody that eats literally fast food four, five, six, seven times a day, and then every time they take a bite, it's just oh. Oh, what are you talking about, bro? I, you literally just ate a mukbang in the same fucking day. I saw a video of you wearing the same exact shirt in the same position. I know you just ate. So don't sit there and try to act like that shit's good in your mouth when I just saw you body slam like literally another fish sandwich 30 minutes ago. You're not, it's not good. You don't have taste buds anymore. You're not doing this because it tastes good. You're doing it because you know it gets the views, which is fine. Go ahead, get your bag, sis. I hope your health is in check, though. I feel like Jelly Bean could be really, really attractive if she just did some correct things, dude. I almost can't believe her hair is this dry. It's actually quite an anomaly. My hair isn't even that dry, and I don't even take care of it. Damn. Woo, that, you saw that residue fly up? Watch the residue fly up here. Ugh. 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 <gasps> Oh my god, jelly beans, calm down. Finish what you got. Finish what you got. Yep, finish it. Finish it. D no, no, it's not no, no. Jelly bean. Jelly bean, what are you doing? Why is it this easy for you? Oh my god! Man, you don't gotta finish in under three minutes. You're good. God damn! Don't matter if you're winning by an inch or a mile. You can finish it any time, dude. I don't know, man. You know what? I'm done with this. I can't watch this anymore, bro. I, it, it, seeing this woman eat the way that she does, dude, I, I almost can't believe that people can't beat off to this because I just want to know, like, what are you getting from it? Like, is it the grease on the lips? Is it the poor hygiene? Is it the slopping food noises? Like, is it that? It could be the mouth noises, I guess. Um... You know, a lot of people like nowadays go, yeah, man, if my girl don't got that macaroni and cheese, then I don't fuck with it, dog. I hate bitches that don't got macaroni and cheese. I heard one dude one time told me that he want that ramen shit, which is crazy, bro. Can you imagine literally referring to your girl's vagina as ramen? Ramen, dude? Out of everything, dude? Not even some quality macaroni and cheese? Ramen, dude? Come on, man. What is that, like 30 cents? It's, it's crazy, dude. Like, get better get better analogies when we're talking about vagina, dude. That, that one time that girl told me her vagina was like a, a, a cup of SpaghettiOs. What? What are you talking about, dude? A cup of SpaghettiOs, man? What are you talking about, dude? Or that one girl that was like, ain't no way he getting in my hot pocket. What are you talking about? Hot pocket? What? Why are these food choices for your vagina always so bad? The most processed, disgusting shit ever. And even macaroni and cheese is not that, not that good either because cheese is kind of gross for vaginas or whatever. But it doesn't matter, right? 
uh, we're gonna end the video here guys I appreciate everybody that watched the video today thank you so much for um, coming in to, and watching uh, even if there was a lot of mouth noises I really appreciate you coming and and being here with me I love you thank you so much for watching today if you watched uh, if you like today's video I appreciate everybody leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things I'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff for me I would appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in water because that's the real liquidization when people say man I want my my girl to have that witness that's what they're talking about they're talking about how you're going to be lubed up with water you're going to be drinking so much water to ensure your hydration and this goes for more than just men and women this goes for everybody everybody should lube themselves up consistently with copious amounts of water ensure that your hydration is apex uh make sure that you're getting the appropriate amount of liquidization in your mouth uh it's it's really important it really is people are just chronically dehydrated nowadays so i'm really happy that you're taking full advantage of the liquidization that you have and that's beautiful thank you so much uh if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys peace